I'm excited about a big old bowl of snails. That's definitely a first for this show. Uh, what are you making today? I will make uh, the, our restaurant's uh, famous lucifer today. I've heard about this dish, but these aren't the kind of snails that you see after like a big rainstorm. Yeah, uh, this we call uh, river snail in China. And so how do you get these ready for cooking? Before we uh, cooking, we have to clean. We have to soak in the water three days. We have to clean at least three times, uh, and then the water is clean. All right, well, a snail soup, I'm game. I want to try it. So you're going to cook these up before they go in the broth? Yes. Follow me back. All right, yeah, let's I'll do show it. You. OK. Oh, it's heavy here. <laughs> it's a lot of snails. OK, yes. And uh, let me grab the wine, and we'll start the snail soup. <laughs> This walk is no joke. Yeah. <laughs> there are so many ingredients that you're going to need for the soup as well. Yes. When the wine is, is it nice and hot, we will put the oil. When they have a little bit smoke, I will put the green onion first to thicken one ginger. Add the garlic as star onions. This is cardamom, cinnamon stick, the bay leaf. Right now, I will put the sugar in there. Sugar, all right. Yeah. This is sour bean boy. Somebody said this uh, sour bean boy is the uh, famous smell. So how do you say? I, mean, it's, I can definitely pick up a little uh, sour <laughs> flavor there. All right. Uh, put the sea salt. This thing is very really famous in China. Yeah, something like a basil. Uh, next day, I will put the uh, snail in there. No? Oh, time for the snails. Yes, all right. Yes, well, yes, uh... yes. Whoa. <laughs> that is just a mountain of snails. All right. Right now, I need this. Of course. <laughs> yes. After Audrey mixes in the snails, the ingredient train rolls on. Now I think I understand why people make this out of a mix. Because <laughs> there are so many steps and ingredients in this process. Yes, yes. Right now, it looks delicious, right? Oh, it does. It looks amazing. <laughs> After the snails are finished cooking, Audrey adds them to a pot which has beef and pork bones that have been simmering into a stock for over eight hours. Once they're added, the stock will cook for an additional two hours. While some of the cooked snails are reserved for other dishes, there are no actual snails in the losefin, just the flavor. To finish the dish, Audrey first steams bok choy and boils rice noodles. She then garnishes the bowl with an array of vegetables and toppings, including more sour bamboo, and finally ladles on the snail soup. Audrey, I am so excited to try this losefin, a dish I've never had. I'm going to start with the broth first. OK. Just see if I can get some of that snail flavor. Yeah. Ooh. OK, well, that is like nothing <laughs> I've ever tried before. That is completely new to me, that flavor, obviously with the snails. But there's a real complexity to it, too, because you get a little sweetness, definitely a little bit of spiciness as well, and that sourness. It's just such a nice balanced soup. Thank you so much. And these peanuts as well. <laughs> um, gotta get a little crunch in there. I think I understand the hype now. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I know why this is spreading all through China. And of course, there's some noodles hidden down here as well, right? This is a very special noodle. Normal noodle is sometimes maybe too soft, but mm. this not soft, but not too tough. They're in the medium. And then uh, tell me about these uh, these sauces here as well. OK. Uh, this is my uh, secret vinegar. I always recommend you ask on my customer ask me, uh, could you uh, sell this vinegar to me? I said, no, sorry about that. You only <laughs> can eat in my restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> People yeah. want to take this vinegar to go. Yes, yes. All right. I'll go, I'll go with three spoonfuls. Then. OK, yes. And we also have a, a mild spicy sauce and the super spicy sauce here. There is a little bit of heat from the broth. Yeah. But the vinegar almost kind of uh, helps uh, sort of smooth that out a little bit. Yeah, yeah that like made that. the uh, flavor better, maybe better. And tell me about these little uh, crunchy bits over here as well. Yeah, uh, this is the fried tofu skin. Last customer, they love this one. I like that the broth is unique, mm -hmm. um, but that as well, 
the toppings, the bamboo shoots, yep. the peanuts, and then the tofu skin. Yeah. So many different textures of flavor. Yeah, we also have some dry uh, radish in there, sour green bean there. Yeah, this is the basis. And you also can add many kind of topping, build your lots of it. Hey, Seth here. If you want to discover more of the incredible restaurants in the DMV, hit subscribe. Thanks for watching Signature Dish.